All right, so I think, oh, hi. Okay, perfect. I wasn't sure if it's working because it's been a bit since I've done a live. I'm not a wine drinker, but I'm cheese and Dr. Pepper. Perfect. I'm not a cheese person actually, so I'm having wine and hummus. But hello, thanks for coming. Um, it was actually Laura who's in the chat. Uh, she was like, hey, it's wine and cheese day. And I said, that sounds like a perfect time to have a live. So I'm here. Hello, thank you for coming. Um, I'm just gonna chat here and I do my wine um, and I have some hummus and tomatoes and I wanted to have like a theme just so it's something for me to talk about and I'm not just like rambling on, which I do. But um, if you have questions along the way, just go ahead. But I'm going to be talking about the summertime puzzle bingo. Um, so if you are part of my Facebook group, then you guys already know about this and it's something that we've been doing for a few weeks now. I was originally going to do a separate video on here, um, but then time just got away from me. So I never did it. So I thought I would just do a quick little on a live and show you the things that are left on my summertime bingo. So this is like a little sheet that I made and our um, Facebook group has been doing it to just like guide us through the puzzles on our to-do list. And it's been so much fun looking at all you guys' puzzles and one person's already finished their summertime bingo. Some people are just starting um, or just casually going through it. Some people are almost done. Um, I'm not as far along as I thought I would be. I still have a whole pile here that I will be talking you through about the things that are left in my puzzle bingo. Um, if you want to partake, you can do it on Instagram or our Facebook group in case you're curious. But it's just been fun to look at all your, your puzzles and that group is so cool anyways. There's a hundred of us now. And yeah, anyways, hello. If you have questions, feel free to put them in the chat. I'll definitely answer them while I'm here. Um, probably be like a half hour to an hour long just cause hmm, I have nothing else to do. So that is my plan. I hope you're okay with that. Um, and also just to let you know, the if you write something in the chat, it takes about five minutes for it to come up on my end. So. If I'm ignoring you or it feels like I'm ignoring you, I probably haven't seen the, the questions come through. So just to let you know. Um, but we're going to go through the summertime puzzle bingo, at least the ones I have left. Um, I'm not going to go through every single square, but I have done, I feel like, a good amount. And you guys will see, um, well, I think you saw the, the five puzzles that I did during my 12-hour puzzle challenge. And then I also have some other ones that I've just done randomly, but... What is my Facebook group called? It's the Casual Puzzlers. It's in a lot of my um, description boxes. You can see the, the full name. It's called the Casual Puzzlers. Um, but yeah, there's, it's a fun little group. I, it's just all things puzzles. And if you have pets, we welcome pet pictures as well. <laughs> um, this, uh, so there's that. But mm, all righty. It's been a bit since I, oh, no. It's been like a week since I've had wine. I thought it was a lot longer. Oh, I have a couple Canadians. Hello. I was looking at my analytics the other day, and I actually have 50% of my subscribers are here in the U.S. The others are all over, which is really cool. I thought it would be a lot more U.S.-based subscribers, but I have quite a few in Australia. I have quite a few in Europe. I have a couple in, like, South America. It's just crazy. Then I have a lot of Canadians too. So hello. Um, but we are going to go over the puzzles that are left on my puzzle bingo. And then again, just ask me some questions in the chat box. Um, so the first square is one that I haven't even done yet. Um, it's the oldest puzzle on my to-do list, which I really don't want to do. Like if this was the one for like the puzzle I regret buying, that's what this would be. But I didn't buy it. It was a gift. And it's been on my to-do list since before my channel. So I don't even know if you've seen it at all. Um, Dave does a really good job about following my Christmas list. I actually really prefer surprises. Um, I never make a list, but he never knows what to buy me. So I give him like a general idea of what I want. And I said puzzles. And he got me this one, which looks so hard. Um, so this is why it's been the oldest on my to-do list because I just, it just looks scary. So it's Eboo's Tree of Life. And look how busy that is. Like I'm sure the color is beautiful 
and it is a square puzzle. You can see on the back, it's a square puzzle, but it just looks so crazy busy. I'm thinking if I focus on like the animals and like the tree, like the color of the tree is pretty distinct, mm -hmm. but all around the edges just looks kind of wild. So this is why it's been the oldest on my to-do list, but if it was one that I bought, it'd definitely be under like the puzzle I regret buying. So there is that one. Um, the next one on my puzzle bingo that I have not done. Also, if you do, you guys want me to do one for fall? I feel like this could be easily be like a like a seasonal thing. Um, but I just did the summertime one because it was one that I'd done a few years ago. But I would consider one for fall too. Uh, so the next one is cat or dog puzzle. Which which one did? I, oh. Sorry, I did not put these in order in the stack that's next to me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it, I think I've decided on this one because it's been on my to-do list for a while. And it's one that I just really love. I love the image. I have a ton of other cat puzzles. So if I decide to do something else, I might. Um, but... Sorry, I'm, I'm reading <laughs> something pops up. I read it. Um, I'm brand new to puzzling and just finished one that's similar to that. Only five times you said, surprise myself, user. Okay. I think as long as I focus on one, the animals or the color of the tree. And then I was also thinking if I pick like a single color, if we did like all the pink flowers first or all the, the yellow flowers first, that might help a little bit. Um, I know I could do it. I just don't want to. <laughs> Um, but for the cat puzzle, I think I'm going to put this one in, which is from Fred. It's called Galaxy Cat. This was actually another uh, Christmas gift from Dave. So it's very weird. It's a weird puzzle image, but I really want to try the brand. And it just has like a bunch of cats and kittens in space. <laughs> so it even has like treats or like kibble as one of the sun rings. And then we have some toys that are actually planets. And then the cats are just like sitting on the planets. Um, it's very quirky. And I feel like some of this, the galaxy texture might be pretty tricky, but it just looks fun. Like, I just feel like I'd just be so happy when I'm doing this. So that's why I thought this would be a good one for the cat puzzle. Again, I have plenty of other cat images, but this is the one that I'm just like, oh, I really just want to do this puzzle. And I really haven't had... I don't know, a space to do the Fred uh, review on my channel. So I think that would just be a fun one. Um, so yeah, that's the, the second one that's on my to-do list for my puzzle bingo. Hold on, I need some wine. Mm. And then the next one I have is the finish a puzzle for the second time. So that's pretty much any puzzle that's uh, one that I've done before. But I feel like the, there's two contenders. I only brought one over. There's two contenders of puzzles that I just enjoyed a lot. And I normally don't do puzzles twice. It's very rare for me. But there's two that are on my list that I would like love to do a second time just because they were so fun. So the first one is Cascade from Cloudberries. This one was super quick for me. It took me like less... I think maybe just over an hour when I did it. Uh, it's just really bright and colorful and it photographs well. I saw a few people doing it on, I don't know if it was my Facebook group or Instagram, but I'm, I've seen it a few places in the past like week. And I was like, oh, I want to do that puzzle again because it was super fun, super quick and easy. And hello, Quint. Um, so thank you all for being here. And if you guys are just tuning in, I'm going over the, the puzzle bingo that our, my Facebook group and Instagram people are doing. Um, I was going to do a whole separate video, but we're, we're just going to do it on live of the puzzle squares that I have left. I might go over a few that I've already done, but um, yeah, so Cascade from Cloudberries. And then the second one that's on like finish a second time, just because I really enjoyed it, would be Mr. Fly from New York Puzzle Company. That has to be one of the favorites that I've done like in a, in a very long time. Like I love that puzzle so much. It's just so quirky. I love the piece cut. Um, it's just really nice and thick, good quality. So, oh, I'm glad you like my vlogs. It's definitely a way for me to branch out because if not, I would just be sitting here. Although I don't think so because I, you'll see in my next vlog, because I was trying something different, that I 
didn't do as much outside the house as I would normally do. And I was like going crazy. <laughs> I really do it to just be busy. Um, and even when Dave is here, I'm usually the person who initiates like, hey, we should go do something. So I do like to be out and doing something, at least a portion of the weekend. And then like if I have one day at home, that's fine. But this past weekend, it was a lot more casual and chill at home. And it just like I was going crazy. So I think next week I'll have to go do some more things. But I'm glad you like my vlogs because it has been really fun to just like try new things and just explore. My friends think I'm crazy because they, um, they're always like, wait, you did what by yourself? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I just went to a winery. And they're like, I would never. And I'm like, why not? Because <laughs> I feel like you just like meet people a little bit easier than if you're like with a group. Mm -hmm. All right. The next puzzle box that's on my summertime bingo that I need to do is I actually have quite a few that would be in this. I should have put these in order. Sorry. <laughs> um, that could fill this box because I, as you guys know, have a weird obsession with hot air balloons although it's not super weird when you watch the vlogs because hot air balloons are over our house all the time <laughs> um so i the the one the square is you need a puzzle with a hot air balloon in it i probably have like two dozen <laughs> that have hot air balloons in it and i think i've barely already done a few this past few weeks but the one that has probably been the one that's oldest on my to-do list is this guy and it has like the most amount of hot air balloons in my collection. So it just like looks so fun and crazy. So this is from White Mountain Puzzle and it's the, it's just called Hot Air. So I got this one when I was actually at the White Mountain store, like their original store in New Hampshire. And I just, I love it so much. So this is one that's like one of the oldest. Of, no, not really. It's not the oldest. It's close to being pretty old, my to-do list. But in general, I have so many other newer hot air balloon puzzles. And this is the one that I'm just like, this just looks so fun. Like, that's so many hot air balloons. Um, and this is one that, like, when someone has completed that square, I'm always like, ooh, what puzzle is that? Like, I need more. But, you know. Um, but it just looks super bright and colorful. I went to White Mountain, actually, since I did that 80s puzzle. So I could probably do some more from that brand. Mm. All right. Next is favorite holiday. It, we were actually talking about this in the comments on someone because I forget that the majority or at least half of my subscribers are not U.S. And so I thought of holiday as like Christmas or Fourth of July, um, but they were thinking holiday as in vacation. And I was like, that's a good way to interpret it too. Um, so either way it works, but I was originally thinking of it as like doing a Christmas puzzle. But really, I think my favorite holiday, although I, I love Christmas, so that's probably it, that I probably wouldn't have chose that for my puzzle piece because of the next one. Um, but I really also like uh, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Um, I wish I, I can't post pictures here, but I, my family is like very big on St. Patrick's Day. We are um, Irish and we even have like the who can dress the dorkiest on St. Patrick's Day within our family. Um, and so we get, we're like all decked out. And so, um, yeah, sorry. Lynn was just saying that White Mountain Puzzles her friend does it exclusively. They're a very popular brand. They're really good if you're really into collage puzzles. I'm not a huge collage puzzle. At least that's not like my go-to. So I can only take so many of them, but they are a good brand to go to. What kind of wine am I drinking? I'm drinking a Moscato. It's just been hanging out in my fridge. <laughs> uh, I do have a, a couple of backup bottles in the fridge too, in case I finish this, but it's just a Moscato. And I think it's actually... When it's been open for quite some time, because I think I had it in the the fridge since like day left, so I don't know. I typically go for whites though. Um oh, I was talking about St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, so at work this year, we had a decorate your office contest throughout the whole region. 
I definitely got first place because <laughs> it was like covered with like green and Irish stuff and it was so much fun. But I prefer reds, but a Moscato is very tasty. Moscato is like the beginner wine. If you are not a wine drinker because you think it's like bitter, try a Moscato because they're normally super sweet. You're tasting just like grape juice. Um, I usually go for whites because reds give me heartburn, but I, I prefer whites. Moscato sometimes now that I'm drinking a lot of different wines, um, it sometimes can be too sweet. Like this one tastes like I'm drinking juice. I also like a really good like Chardonnay. So that's probably my, my second go-to. Anyways, favorite holiday. I then thought of like my favorite season. And so my favorite season is definitely fall. And then I re remembered I had this puzzle that my mom got me. And it kind of reminded me, of, it's almost combined between like favorite season, but also favorite vacation at this point is when we go back to Maine. Um, and so we had gone on a vacation right before, I think it was right before Mississippi year. And we had gone during the fall. And it was one of our most favorite vacations because it was super chill. Um, we had, I think that was the vacation we had rented a cabin on a, on a lake. It was too cold to swim, but we had rented a cabin on a lake and it was just like perfect fall weather. And we had gone to a covered bridge in New Hampshire. And that's why I picked this puzzle because it is one of my favorite um, vacations was when we just like, it was just so relaxing. We were just like pretty much reading, playing games, visiting family um, just enjoying the fall scenery because out here we clearly don't have it. So the puzzle that is on my favorite holiday puzzle is this one. Um, so it's from Suns Out. It's one that my mom got me. It's called Covered Bridge in Fall. And I just love the sky. Like I feel like I'm really going to enjoy the sky and I really like the water. Um, but it just looks really sweet and it just reminds me of back in Maine. So That'll be the puzzle that I do for that. Um, but yeah, it's just really sweet and I like it. I like the colors. It's more like, definitely more artsy. You can tell that it has more like brush strokes than it does like clear lines, but I still think it'll be fun to do. It's only 500 pieces. So it's not gonna, it, like it's gonna be super difficult. So there's that. Um, hold on, more wine. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So the next square I was hoping to do before uh, 4th of July, but I didn't because <laughs> uh, I was, I don't know, I guess I was too busy doing other things, but I really wanted to do a red, white, and blue puzzle. And so I had one on my to-do list, which is from Buffalo, and it is their patriotic road trip, which weirdly reminds me of like my youth. <laughs> So this is what it looks like. It is an old wagon, which I think we had this type of car. Well, we had this this type of car. Then we had like the same type of car, but it was like bright, bright blue. But we had like this exact car before. And we always used to go up to, so we used to live in Massachusetts. <laughs> Laura just... Uh, uh, PM me and she's like, you're gonna be drunk by the end of the, the live. No, one glass of wine is not gonna get me drunk. <laughs> um, but we used to live in Massachusetts and before, and we had moved to Maine when I was five. And so before then, me, our main house was our cottage. And so this just reminds me of us like going up to camp in the summer. And so we would have 4th of July in Maine and it's just like barbecuing and lots of just like patriotic um, decorations. And so we would never actually decorate, it would just be like a casual cookout, but it kind of reminds me of like those times. But yeah, so that's my red, white and blue puzzle. I think that was like the only one that really was on my to-do list that would fit that square. So there's that. All right, next, I have my Christmas in July square. So I just, I weird, weirdly always do a Christmas puzzle 
passed in July. So um, I'm almost to the end of the month. So I might not be able to do it in July, but I'll at least do it to do the square. But the one that was on my to-do list that I really wanted to do, which I might do this one, I might switch it out to something else. But it is this one from, oh, I'm going to mispronounce it on live. It's the one that's jigsaw backwards. That's the brand. Wusk jig? Was, oh, I don't know. But it's this one. <laughs> it's called Santa's Unexpected Delivery. Oh, it's by Jumbo. Okay. But it has the ones that are like, so this is the image, but the image you do is different than this. You're actually doing the image of what Santa is seeing and not this image, if that makes sense. So um, I really wanted to do this brand. It's been recommended to me quite a few times. And I don't think I've ever done a jumbo puzzle either. So we'll see. It says it includes a free thousand piece box image. That's exciting. But it just looks fun and quirky. I like the cartoons. It's, Mrs. Claus looks a little like provocative with her cleavage hanging out there. Um, so I'm curious to see how this goes, but I think this is the one I'm going to do for Christmas in July. Although I kind of wanted to do a video about it, but I just feel like it's a weird timing for this type of puzzle on my channel. So I don't know, but I think this will be the one I do. I might do another Christmas puzzle that I've done before, but we'll see. Alrighty. Next, we have puzzle based on a movie, show, or book. This one has been really fun to see the other people who are doing them, um, just to see different takes on those type of puzzles. So that's from probably like my favorite that I've been watching the different images pop up with a different. I just completed my first one. Ooh, that's exciting. I, I've heard great things about Jumbo in general, so I'm really excited to do this one. I think it'll be fun. Um, but the puzzle based on movie, show, or book has been just a fun one to see. Like, they're just cool, different interpretations of what that square is. So I think the one that I'm going to do, because it's very current, is where the crawdads sing, and the brand is Workman Puzzles. So it's based off of the, I'm guessing, more movie, because it looks very much like the movie, um, but has like just a collage of different images that are from the book, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I have read the book, re listened to the audiobook, and saw the movie, so I really have enjoyed it. Um, I did see the movie a few vlogs ago. I'm just going to pick up. Um, and the, the movie was good, but I do feel like they need to, they should have had the, the youth part a little bit longer or a little bit more in depth because you can really understand how she grew up. Um, but other than that, I, I think this is the one I'm going to do for that. I, am all, I was looking at all of the different squares. My favorite is this like radiant rainbow that has just like a goose, I'm guessing is what it is right there. Um. I really enjoy that one. But it's just really pretty. I, I like this one a lot. Um, so I just think that it's like perfect for that square, especially right now with the movie just coming out. I love puns, so that was awesome. Quint just said, I got an ad in the mail today for $1 off Dijon Mustard, a coupon coupon. That's pretty great. <laughs> uh, I love puns or like one-liners. That's like my favorite. All right. Next, we have a mini puzzle with... 150 pieces or less. And I was originally going to do one of my, oh, what's that brand, Anthology? So that's the wooden puzzle subscription that I've done, but none of them are 150 pieces or less, they're all over. So I had to change course and I thought I would do this one again because it's just really fun. Um, this is from the brand Wood Bests, I'm guessing. I got mine on Amazon. 
It's kind of like a Unidragon puzzle that you can get on Amazon. So it's not Unidragon, but it's very similar. Um, but this one is the one. It's called King of the Jungle. And so this would be my mini puzzle, which I just really enjoyed. And I feel like I can't tell the difference in quality from this to Unidragon. So I liked it. I guess you may be getting more from this brand, but this will be the one for my 150 pieces. I cannot get it to close. And that's the issue I had with the other one too, is that the box is like, does not quite fit. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> Oops. All right. And then the final one that's still on my to-do list is puzzle I regret buying. So my first instinct was, of course, to go to that puffin puzzle that I got from Ireland from Nordic Games. And I just, I don't want to do that puzzle. <laughs> I don't. Um, so I'm just going to not do that one. And I decided on another puzzle I regret buying because it technically is the next one on my to-do list. And I just don't want to do it. So my next one to film for my Around the World series is puzzles from the UK. And so I have a puzzle from Falcon, which looks pretty doable. And then I have this one from Gibson's. And so the reason I, I regret buying it is because it looks really hard. And I know I could do it and I know I'll be fine. And it's just like in my head, like that I just don't want to do it. But it is a puzzle that just looks crazy. And I just don't have the mindset right now to do this puzzle. So that's why it's on my puzzles for regret buying, because I'm sure there's other images from Gibson's that I would want. And I don't know why I picked this one. I really don't. Because I even looked on the Gibson's website recently, and there's so many more puzzles that I'd much rather do besides this one. So it is called, let me see, Wonderful World. And so it is like this crazy, let me go to the other end so you can see the full image. But it's like the map of the world. And just look how busy that is. Like, that's just too much. I have that new other, I forget what brand it was, that new 2000 piece one that's the world. And that one looks so fun and pretty. And this one is very similar concept, but just looks wild. Like, it just looks like there's so much happening. So this is why it's on my puzzle or regret buying. So I would much rather do many others from the brand. And this is the one that I got. And this is the one that I'm going to be doing for the video. Um, and so I really don't want to do it, but I got it. So this is the one I'm going to have to figure out how to do. And when you look at it, it's not too bad. It just looks very busy on the eyes. So there's that. Um, but how are you guys doing? Those are the ones that are still on my to-do list. I'll go over some of the ones that I've already done, just in case if you want to join in, um, you know which ones are on the list of puzzles to do. <laughs> Puzzles of Regret Buying is definitely one that I knew would be the hardest square because usually it's one that you don't do or it's one that you don't finish. I will also say Puzzle of Regret Buying could be a puzzle that you thought you liked, but then you ended up not liking it. So it could go either way. So you might go into it thinking it's what puzzle you're buying, or it might be at the end where you're like, that puzzle was awful. So either way that word would work, but yeah, not, not looking forward to uh, that square whatsoever. It's probably going to be the last one that's on my list. Although it can't be because that's a puzzle I need to do next. Um, yeah, gifted puzzles are also tricky. Um, luckily, the puzzle that I did for my puzzle I received as a gift was one that a brand gifted me. So it was a puzzle that I still enjoyed doing, um, which was from Antelope. It was the Amsterdam. Um, I did post it on my Instagram, but I will be posting more of an in-depth review on the antelope video that will be coming. But in general, the image was so much fun. Um, so luckily, as my received as a gift, worked out pretty well because uh, it was an item that they gave me. But yeah, that one could be, I feel like a lot of people, when they gift me puzzles, they gift me puzzles that are like very traditional puzzle images, or they think like, oh, this is a beautiful image, like you would love it. And it's like this beautiful, like, landscape mountain scene, you know, like very traditional, like MV back in like the 90s <laughs> type style. Um, and that's just not my style whatsoever. And I'm just like, thank you so much. <laughs> so I feel like when you're a puzzle lover, it's hard to actually gift you puzzles because you know what you like and you know what you don't. 
Hmm. Although there have been some puzzles that I've been gifted that I've really, really enjoyed too. So we go either way. Or I tell them like which brands I really love. So that can work too. Let's see. I'm learning that puzzles are very personal and I have told people, please only get me puzzles for my wish list on Amazon. Yeah. Can I throw this puzzle across the room and get credit for it? <laughs> um, I would say you have to be like over 50% done. Yeah, I get gifted puzzles all the time. I think last Christmas, every single person gave me a puzzle. And I think I probably did maybe two out of the ones that people gave me. So, I mean, I, I understand their thought because it's like, oh, Emily loves puzzle does to get her a puzzle, but puzzle lovers have totally different styles and images that they like. So you are torturing me. <laughs> what puzzle is it? Um, yeah, so puzzles, gifting puzzles can be tricky. I really want to actually, I'll tell you anyways, um, on Amazon, you can subscribe to be a influencer there. So that way you can have a storefront. That's really my goal right now. So I did apply, but you have to get approved. So we'll see. But that way, any puzzles that are on my to-do list or puzzles on my wish list or puzzles that are ones that I've done, I can have like a shop almost and you guys can shop directly from my store. So that'd be really cool if it got approved, but who knows? I heard it's pretty tricky, but I think in the in the long term, that'd be really cool because then like you would just have one place to go to if you want to get any of the puzzles that I mentioned, if they're on Amazon anyways. A painted puzzle from Springbok of flowers. Flowers can be tricky, especially if they're like little bitty dainty ones. Yes, gift card to puzzles. I am so sad you guys know that Odyssey Find Puzzles is probably like my favorite website to shop from and they're closing which i'm sure you probably already know but if you haven't make sure to go over there and, and stock up because they have some really good deals right now they have a lot that's already out of stock but um it's so sad i'm, I'm happy for them because they are an older couple and they pretty much were running the thing all by themselves so i'm happy for them because they're retiring so that's cool but i'm so sad that they're they're going because they were just like one of a kind customer service and so you could tell that it was like a family owned business. So they took such care in all the packages and wrote a letter each time. So I'm so sad that they're closing down, but it was, it was nice while it lasted. But in case you missed it, they are closing, which is just a sad one. Um, so let's go over. Wait, who's retiring? Uh, the owners of Odyssey Five Puzzles. So it's a website that I usually buy my puzzles from. But the owners are retiring. So they're closing down the shop because they, it was either that none of their kids wanted it. Um, so they would have had to sold and that they didn't want that hassle, which I understand, but it's just sad. No, Nantucket. I think I've been there, but now I'm not, I think I have been there. Puzzle would be nice though. Um, so I guess I'll go over some of the puzzles. I don't have them here. But I, I probably have my Instagram if you want to see. Um, what is he named? Odyssey. Oh, it's odysseyfinepuzzles.com. And so they have like a really good sale right now because they're just closing down. So some things are like 40% off and some things are like 30 to 50. Like it's a really good deal. Um, so... Puzzles that I've already completed on my little checklist in case you just want to know the other squares before committing to the, doing this. Or you don't have to commit, you can just like do it. Um, but it's for camping or outdoors. I have already completed that square and that was my Woodland Habitat puzzle. I have plenty of other camping ones, but Woodland Habitats from Green Box. That one I really loved and I really like the Green Box images, at least the ones that I've done, which are the ones that are, um, that I got at the safari park here. So that they have other puzzles on their website and I did enjoy them. I just feel like they're pretty thin and they're, I feel like a little overpriced for the quality because the quality feels exactly like my blockbuster puzzles, but 
their like $30 versus like the $7 that you can get the blockbuster puzzles for. Uh, and so there's that. Uh, next we have puzzle that begins with E because my name's Emily. <laughs> um, and so I did the antelope puzzle, eternal butterflies, which I really enjoyed. Like this brand I, I really have been liking. I like their images a lot. Um, I like the matte pieces. The final images are beautiful. Um, they do come with a little poster. I will say one of the things that I noticed is that they do have a paper backing. Um, and there was a few on each puzzle that I've done so far that have peeled off a little bit. So that's just something that I'm going to mention to them because they are lovely and they've been or like any critique, let us know because they just want to like create the best possible product that people would want to repurchase over and over. So that's one thing that I've noticed. But in the end, like the puzzle images have been beautiful. So I really hope they take that critique and work with it because other than that, like I've loved each puzzle that I did so far. But Eternal Butterflies was one that is not normally this. I mean, it's a nice illustration, but it's more like poster. Like I could feel like that being like a poster in like a science room or something like that. Um, so it was just really lovely. So I'm excited to see where this brand goes. I know they're working on a few other collections right now. Um, and I just I'm excited to see how it evolves over time. Um, the next one was Puzzle with a Sunset. And I finally did my Le Vieille Belle puzzle from Jacquerou. And that one was surprisingly hard. Um, usually I can sit down and just like knock out a puzzle within like six to eight hours. But that one was a lot more trickier than you, you'd think. Um, when you look at the image, it is really bold and bright. And I love the colors of it. But it's a lot more artsy than I was expecting. There's a lot more brush strokes and softer edges than what I was initially like noticing. So I did end up completing it. I don't know if I posted it on Instagram. So it's going to do a different video and then, oh, it's going to do the video about this and like do um, the puzzles that I need, like a few puzzles for that box or for the challenge in that video, but I didn't. So I really liked the image and I actually did like doing it. So I was doing it very slowly. Um, very, I was listening to an audiobook and just puzzling and it took me a few days and I was okay, but it was a lot trickier than I was expecting. Um, there's one that received as a gift, which is another square that not many people have been loving. <laughs> um, but luckily again, I had received mine from a brand. So that works because it was a brand that I was excited to try. Um, there's a puzzle of or from another country. So I guess that might be easier if you were say Canadian and you are doing like a US brand that's available in your area, I think that would be easy. But um, yeah, I, I did the one from Iceland for that puzzle box. I could have done, oh no, I put it in a different square. Um, but it could be of a country too. So like I just did the Amsterdam puzzles, that could have worked. Uh, let's see, the other box that I've done already is hobby or sport puzzle. And I was originally going to do a um, camping puzzle, although there is a camping square, but I have a ton about camping because that is one of my favorite hobbies. But I decided to put Vintage Library, which is a, um, what's that brand? A Duca puzzle. That's the one that I did in the Pears Challenge and I do love to read, so that worked. And it was a really pretty puzzle in the end. Um, when we were doing the, uh, challenge or the competition at the very end we did have like one piece completely out of place um and so we had to like quickly find it but we did and it was a, it was just super exciting that we um won fourth place right in paris um i'm really bummed i can't actually do the nationals so nationals is coming to san diego which is only like an hour away uh it's coming in october and it just happens to be the same week that my mom and sisters are coming so I'm not going to be at nationals, but I'm, I i do not know. I could see me doing more, I don't know, learning about competitions. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Fourth in Paris, fifth in teens. Thanks, Laura. Um, sorry. Loki's eating some dry food next to me. Um, so vintage library from Educa. That one was really fun. Uh, next we have place you'd like to visit. So you haven't seen the video, it's going to be up on Thursday. 
Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but I have my island puzzle that's coming up, which is the official Guinness puzzle. It was really difficult to find a puzzle from Ireland, but I was very determined. Um, so I did, I, that one should be up this week. It's already like set and ready to go. So you'll see that. But Ireland is a place that's always been on my bucket list because we have, we still have family over there. Um, my mom's side is from Ireland. So that would be fun. And hence why I also love uh, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> uh, next, we have puzzle from my favorite brand. And hi, buddy. Um, and that would pretty much be anything that I did from New York Puzzle Company recently. I've done quite a few. I think I put rooftop relaxation, which is the one I did in my 12 hour puzzle challenge. So that was in that box. Hi, buddy. I'm going to apologize now. We have a Loki now on the table, so he might go in front of you. Um, he's also rowing up against the computer. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Hey, bud. What you doing? Say hi. Aww. So Loki's actually the cat that none of my friends have ever seen in person because he is very uh, shy around people. But now you get to see him. Say hi, buddy. So Loki had his birthday. How old is he? Seven or eight? Um. <laughs> oh, no, they don't want to see your butt. There we go. So, hey, buddy. He's super affectionate. Oh, he's loving the, the computer right now, huh? Hey, babe. Uh, so, Ziggy is going to be 23 in October. Or at least October is what we use for his birthday because that's his adoption date. Um, I love ginger cats, too. So, all three of them are gingers. Uh, Oliver is four now. Uh, three or four. And then we have Loki, and then we have Ziggy, who's our old man. Um, and so we're hoping Ziggy lasts another few years, but if he lasts like up until his birthday, I don't know. He's just, he's showing his age, that's for sure. Um, we got him from Dave's mom. And so he's around 22, 23 in October. Hi, buddy. And he's completely deaf at this point, so... I can't believe Ziggy's so old. I know. <laughs> he is so old. Um, he's still super affectionate. Um, and he still plays. So he'll play with his catnip. He'll play with string if we have it out. So he still has like a little spunk in him. Um, I think the younger cats have definitely helped with his aging. Because he just has always had a, a companion. Because um, Ziggy's litter mate, Mo, had passed when he was 15. And we actually thought that time... Ziggy wouldn't be too far after because he has a heart murmur because he's a Maine Coon. Um, oh, so Malcolm says that he's had two cats live to be 24 and 25. Okay. A cat's going to live up to be around 30, so he may have a few years left in him. I honestly don't know how this one will be once Ziggy goes because, I mean, Ziggy pretty much raised the other two cats. Um, hey, if you saw my video of like, I think it was a puzzle story time where I talked about the cats. You can see Ziggy as like the father figure for both Loki and Oliver when they were kittens. Like he would like carry them around and everything. Um, your oldest cat, she was 20. I know. I'm, I am surprised he's lived this long, but he's still, he's still kicking. He's still going. I feel like when my family or someone sees him, they're like, wow, he's still alive. <laughs> And sometimes we even see that too, like when we come home from like a vacation or something, we're all like, he's made it. He's good. Um, so he's got, he's, he's old. Um, let's see, I forget which, which block we're on. I know, quite a few of us have some older pets. I would say one thing is like, I would never get a strictly, like, how was it called? Purebred? Because I've heard purebreds just don't last as long. I have some family members who have purebreds, and they last like seven to eight years, and my cats are all close to that. So <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, so how old do cockatiels usually last? Can I see if it he's old? Yeah, cats, I, I would say Ziggy's the oldest that I've ever had. 
Um, before we always had out like indoor outdoor cats when I lived in Maine. So um, there was a few times that animals got them if they were outside or we had one that was older, but he just like walked off into the woods and just perished, you know, but I think he was 15 at the time. Uh, all right. Next we have, let's see. A thrifted or garage sale puzzle was my umbrellas puzzle from Good Puzzle Company, which was missing a piece, which was super sad. That's when I did in my 12 hour puzzle challenge. But um, I really liked it, but I probably I wouldn't buy from that brand new. Um, not because of the missing piece, because obviously that was a thrifted item, but it was all twos, which is not my favorite. It did not have a paper backing, which is interesting because it is a Gallison brand. Did not have a paper backing, um, but it's just really, really shiny. So I probably wouldn't get something from that brand, but it was, it was a fun puzzle to do. And I only paid like five bucks for it. So there's, I didn't mind too much. Um, only a few squares left. Mm. All right. Um, the 1500 piece puzzle, I ended up doing table 26. <laughs> That's what I used. Um, table 26 from my uh, 54,000 piece ultimate challenge. I didn't use any of the other tables because the other tables I used maybe like 25% of the puzzle. But table 26, I did the majority of the puzzle. There was probably only 150 pieces left to it. So I'm going to say that counts <laughs> uh, because it was originally a 2000 piece puzzle. And that one was actually completed at the end. So I'm counting it because if you did it by with a friend, you know, kind of, kind of works. <laughs> Let's see. Carrie says 20 to 25 years is old for them. Oh, for your bird. Wow. He is getting old. All right. Thank you. It does count to have that, that puzzle on there. And um, so that was a lot of pieces. <laughs> it was definitely one, like the largest one that I've tried. I would say with the 54,000, but in general, 2,000 is usually like my cap. And I haven't done 2,000 since I was like 15. So it, it had been a while. All right. Next for food or picnic, I just decided to go with the truffle puzzle that is donuts, which I just did again for my puzzle challenge. Wait, that was gifted, right? So, which was gifted? The 54,000 piece one? If you haven't used it yet, I mean, it's one that you didn't buy, so maybe. I would, I would count it. In case you're curious, puzzled to pieces is Laura. So she's, she was my buddy for the pairs. Uh, yeah, I would count it as a gifted item. Especially with all those white pieces you had to do. Um, but donuts from Truffle, I'm really excited to do more from that brand. I'm glad I have a couple more because um, that 500 piece one was super fun. Hi, Jennifer. It was super fun. Um, and the quality was really good. I can see it being an issue with fit a little bit, but I can still move like a whole donut at a time. <laughs> That's how I gauged its quality. It was could I move a donut and I could eat very easily. Um, so that was just a really fun puzzle to do. I would Count that as like one of the ones I'd probably redo in my lifetime just because it was super fun. It was very quick and easy. The downtown puzzle you ordered is stunning. Downtown puzzle. I'm trying to remember which one that, that was. All right. Oh, the 6,000 piece. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Sorry. Did you just see the light bulb go off? The 6,000 piece, the downtown. Yeah, it looks so fun. Thank you. I know. It just took me a minute. I was like, because I was just going through like all the puzzles that I just got. I, I mean, I came home with almost 30 puzzles from the convention. That one, I'm so excited for that. I don't know when I'm doing it. But I'm excited that it's in chunks. So I could see me doing like multiple videos of doing like the 15,000 piece chunks. <laughs> Thank you for uh, reminding me what the puzzle is, was called. Um, but I could, I, oh, it's so pretty to look at. Like that's when I could see me framing because it's definitely my style. Oh, it's super cool. Um, 
do you chat with, watch other puzzle channels? I found you as another person. <laughs> Um, I ha I do watch other puzzle channels, obviously. Um, me and Jigsaw Juby have been in contact. So we, we have been discussing something together, but I watch her all the time. I can't, I can't watch her sometimes because she has been super influencing. Like I've been heavily influenced by her. So I can't watch her hauls anymore because I also want to buy all the puzzles. So I've been trying to strictly watch her like review videos because she is very persuasive and we have very similar tastes. So, um, but yeah, I, we've been, she's like a, a, a really fun person to be in contact with. Um, and I've watched of course several others, but I'm, I'm also a huge fan of watching like lifestyle YouTube or beauty content. Cause I did work on a few, I don't know where I've mentioned it, but I worked at Sephora for close to eight years. And so I'm still very much into beauty stuff. So I do like the beauty YouTubers too. Not like the mega ones, not like mini MUA or anything. I like like um, Jessica Braun because she does like life, lifestyle and beauty stuff. So I like her channel. I also like Mikkel Jancy who does more lifestyle. So those are my favorites. I know Juby has, she must be a crazy fast puzzler because she, her to do's at the end of the month are the ones that she's done are always like crazy long. And she, I don't know where she's storing all her puzzles because her hauls have been massive. I know they are epic. I mean, they're like 50 minutes long and I love every minute of it, but by the end, they have like a huge like to buy list because again, we have very similar tastes in puzzles. Um, but yeah, she's awesome. And I'm so glad her channel's growing like super fast. So that's cool. And if you don't follow her Instagram, she's like posting new Instagram pictures like every single day. I'm awful at keeping up with my Instagram. Um, I know it only takes me like a few minutes to post the picture, but I just never remember. So there's that. Um, let me see. I only have a few more boxes left. But uh, the one that was did the border last, that is a, a box that <laughs> um, was tricky for a lot of people to complete because um, I feel like you have to have to have the right puzzle to do that square um, but I actually did a 1500 piece puzzle which I didn't post anywhere on my YouTube but I did post it on Instagram and that was a classic Disney puzzle by Seiko and that was so fun it has like you've seen similar images but it has like the frames and so it has like the frames of the different like characters and scenes in there. I know. I really, I feel like I need to have like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not much of a fashion person. I think a lot of my personal style went away. Not like I had it before, but when I worked at Sephora, I mean, I wore the same costume every single day for close to eight years. And so when I left, I literally had nothing for normal clothes. Um, I had maybe like six outfits, but I didn't have any work clothes because I always wore the same thing to work. So I really had to figure out what I liked and I just like being comfy. <laughs> so, um, but I have actually found a new dress company. I love dresses. I think that's also what came out of me working as a forest so long because I wore a tunic every single day for years. And so I got used to wearing like a dress and so there's a brand called Broden, B-R-O-D-E-N, and they have some beautiful prints, but they, in general, they have, they have beautiful clothing, but I love their dresses. They are pricier, but they are like 100% cotton. And so those are all the, the bright colored dresses that you've been seeing has been that brand. I've only been getting the ones that are on sale. So I've been at least getting a discount. Usually they're like 50% off, um, but I just have been loving their stuff. They've washed really well. And they still come out super, super bright. Sorry, I just saw a few people. Oh, good night, Lynn. Thank you. I know. I tried to do it somewhere earlier. So I thought 6 p.m. was 9 p.m. there. You might be able to make it work. So thank you for coming. I, I missed something. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so those dresses have been my favorite thing. I could see me getting a few more. 
Um, I had to put a pause though, because we were trying to save for our um, big Alaskan trip and I'm not wearing those dresses in Alaska. So I, um, but they have other clothing besides dresses, but I just have really been liking their quality. Um, so that's been like a brand that I'm like gravitating towards. Um, and what they, it's cool is that they have a really good exchange policy. Like what's the word? Like if ever there was a fault with the dress, I think I forget how many years, but it's like a long time that they have like a warranty with their clothing. So they really stand behind their product. And again, they've been really nice because I live in super hot weather, like over hundred degrees all, every day. And those have been like super breathable, just plain cotton. And it's just been nice. So, um, I, and they go up to, I think, 3X, 3 or 4X. So they're pretty size inclusive. Um, let's see, I'm almost done. So my border, I did the puzzle that I did the border last was the 1500 piece Disney. Um, ooh, thank you, Malcolm. I've not been to Alaska before, but he said, <laughs> take a lot of DEET because of mosquitoes. Good, good idea. I'm so excited for that trip. One, just because I get to see my husband. <laughs> um, we haven't seen each other since June. It's been about a month now. Um, so we see each other on August 13th. And then I finally get to see him. And so we're just excited to be with each other. We did have to change our cruise last minute. So we originally were supposed to go on Royal Caribbean. And there was an issue with one of the engines of that ship. And so they had pretty much shortened all the excursions or all the ports. And then they had to rebook us for a few other excursions. And then at the end, they ended up moving all the different ports because of like, they couldn't go places as fast as they could. Um, There's also one place that the dock was too far away for them or something like that. So we ended up switching to Norwegian, which we're still also fine with. And I feel like the ports are, I think more of our alley. So I'm excited for that trip because one, I get to see my husband, but two, it's just gonna be so much fun. I'm excited. We haven't gone on a cruise since 2019, I think it was. And I feel like this is one of the bigger vacations we've taken in a long time. We love traveling, but because of like 2020, we had to cancel, I wanna say like six or seven vacations. So it was just a bummer. Uh, let's see. Circular or shaped puzzle. We're going back into puzzle bingo. I just have two left and then we'll call it a day. But circular or shaped puzzle, the circular puzzle I did was the Ravensburger, which you guys saw, which was fruits and vegetables, which was super fun. Um, the image was just kind of, I feel like very generic, but it's super bright, colorful. Can't really go wrong with the brand. So that's the one I use for circular or shaped puzzle. And then the final one is beach or water themed. And I did Beach Bound by New York Puzzle Company. And that one was super fun, uh, very like vintage style. And it was one from there. It wasn't their normal, because they have like different versions. What was the brand? It was something about summer. But it was just a really fun image. So that's that. So those are all the puzzles that I have for Puzzle Bingo, both the ones I have did and the ones that are on my to-dos. If again, you want to partake, you can go on Instagram or our Facebook group because we've been posting links there. And if you are just tuning in, but you've done puzzles over the past, we started it um, on the first day of June, the first day of summer. Started on the first day of summer. So anything that you've done between now and then, you could have used for your squares. So just thought you'd let, I'd let you know. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming. It's just about an hour mark. So I'm going to call it a day. But thank you so much for being here. I know some of you is late. Um, I tried to make it a reasonable time. because so if I did it earlier, then some people out here on the West Coast might still be working. So I tried to make it a good enough time. So I think 6 p.m. works. Although I did take a poll on my um, group. And I think they said around, around the afternoon on a Saturday <laughs> tends to be the good one. But this is a very spontaneous one because it is wine and cheese day. So thanks for being here. I had so, so much fun chatting with you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a good night.